all right now let's look at the first question please always mark the keyword in the question because it will help you to arrive at the correct answers quickly and also help save time option a says monitor privilege monitor privilege tracks activity not category visibility incorrect will move to b b says usage privilege usage privilege grants access not metadata exposure wrong answer let's move to option c c says ownership privilege ownership privilege is excessive for viewing categories wrong answer let's move to option d it says imported privilege imported privileges grants the ability to show categories that's what is required we'll lock option d as the right answer let's bring the heat to the snow this is all about schema level object where periodic where we need to perform periodically uh, perform some action under specific condition so what is the schema level object what we should use option e says alerts alerts allow scheduled evolution of conditions and execution of actions when criteria are met let's keep it we'll move to b b says external tables external tables provide access to external data but do not support conditional execution as mentioned here in the equation b is wrong we'll move to c option c says secure views secure views control visibility but do not perform actions wrong answer we'll move to d d says materialized views materialized views optimize queries but do not trigger actions wrong answer will lock and before locking if you look at the official documentation it's mentioned to do this you can set up a snowflake alert a snowflake alert is a schema level object so that's what is required will lock option e alerts as the right answer okay let's look at this this is all about query acceleration in snowflake virtual warehouse by offloading parts of the query to share compute option e is using a multi cluster virtual warehouse multi cluster virtual warehouse handles concurrent sessions not query offloading incorrect we'll move to option b b is using the query acceleration service query acceleration service offloads query fragments to shared compute resources let's keep it We'll move to C. C says using the search optimization service. Search optimization service improves filter performance, not compute distribution. Wrong answer. We'll move to D. Option D says disabling auto suspend. Disabling auto suspend keeps resources running, not offloading query task. Let's delete it. We'll lock option B as the right answer. All right. this is all about file format we need to remove the square braces from the data during loading option e says strip null values equal to true so a uh, strip null values equal to true removes fields from null values but do not affect array brackets incorrect we'll move to option b b says replace invalid characters equal to true so uh, replace invalid characters equal to true substitutes unsupported characters but do not modify array brackets will eliminate it will move to c c says trim space equal to true trim space equal to true removes extra spaces as the name suggests here space but do not affect array brackets in json data wrong answer we are left out with option d it is strip outer array equal to true so strip outer array equal to true removes the outer brackets from the json array during file ingestion so it's easy to remember if you uh, just see the outer here right the outer brackets yeah so if we look at the official documentation strip outer array equal to true it says boolean that instructs the json parser to remove outer brackets that is the square braces which is, which we use in the arrays right so that's what is required will lock option d as the right answer all right we got a multiple choice question we need to select two correct answers this time and this is all about record data manipulation language changes on the objects option e is databases databases are containers not dml 
tracked entities wrong answer we'll move to b b says standard tables standard tables allow row level dml tracking via streams let's keep it we'll move to c c says standard views standard views support streams that reflect changes from source tables another correct answer we'll move to d d says schema schemas are structural not dml tracked objects we'll delete this well lock option b standard tables and option c standard views as the right answer all right now let's look at this question option a says operate operate controls execution not billing visibility incorrect we'll move to b b says monitor usage monitor usage grants access to billing information let's keep it we'll move to c c says ownership ownership is excessive for usage monitoring wrong answer let's move to option d d says usage usage enables object access not billing metrics we'll delete this the lock option b monitor usage as the right answer all right all right now let's look at this question this is all about own versus reference storage in table storage matrix option e says database storage usage history so database storage usage history lacks granularity for cloned table matrix incorrect we'll move to option b b says stage storage usage history stage storage usage history is unrelated to table cloning let's delete this we'll move to c c says table storage matrix table storage matrix shows separate columns for owned and reference storage let's keep it we'll move to now d d says storage usage storage usage doesn't expose ownership breakdown wrong answer well lock option c table storage matrix as the right answer all righty here we go with an interesting question here we have a standard retention period configured and um, we need to find the expected behavior what happens to the object and its data after the drop operation option is is the object is erased from the system without delay immediate removal bypasses the configured retention policy hence incorrect we'll move to now option b b says the object is instantly transferred to fail safe fail safe is a later stage not the first destination after a drop we'll delete this let's move to option c c says the object remains but its data is wiped out immediately data is not purged instantly when retention policies are active wrong answer we are left out with option d and it says the object stays accessible during the retention window objects with retention period are preserved for recovery or audit before permanent deletion looks good well lock option d as the right answer all right all right now let's look at this question this is all about viewing a resource monitor option e says usage usage enables access not visibility into monitor internals hence yes, incorrect we'll move to b b says select select applies to data objects not system monitors wrong choice we'll move to now c c says monitor monitor enables viewing a resource monitor details let's keep it we'll move to d d says operate operate controls monitor actions not viewing rights if we if we lock option d monitor is the right answer all righty all righty now let's look at this this is about json paths are equivalent in slow snowflake when referencing the same element so we need to uh, select the json paths that are treated equivalent in snowflake option e is is src customer email so SR src customer email fails due to case mismatch in the key names wrong answer we'll move to b b says src customer email src customer email is not equivalent because both keys use inconsistent casing we'll eliminate it now let's move to option c c says src customer email src customer email breaks equivalence due to upper case object name without quotes let's keep this we'll move to d d says src customer dot email snowflake treats json paths as case sensitive and resolves lower case colon uh, dot notation consistently that being said 
will lock option C and D as the right answer. So please, please, please don't go away. Let's meet in next part of this series.